absolute pleasure to meet you. Uh, what I found funny about this film is that it's the dark humor is so unexpected. And I'm curious who influenced your style of that kind of humor. Scandinavian directors, yeah. uh, obviously. You have some very good directors in America that uh, <laughs> have the same uh, approach to life in yeah. a way. Uh, Cohen's uh, maybe more than anything. One of the themes I love about it is the isolation. And, it's, and to me, it didn't even feel like it was just in the mountains. It's also in the city. There's so many scenes where they're driving into Denver, and it feels like nobody's there. Was that intentional, and, and why did you choose that? Yeah, I think it's uh, intentional in the sense that it only it's only a film that deals with uh, those who are pertinent to the film. Yeah. So uh, uh, extras that are just sort of filling in the landscape to, to give a naturalistic look is, uh, wasn't a part of this equation. Yeah. Uh, some people might not know that this is a remake of a film that you already had made. I'm curious, what's the oddest aspect of doing something you've already done? <laughs> uh, the funny thing is, you know, in the beginning, I uh, I thought, uh, do I want to do this? Uh, Michael uh, Schamberg, the producer, was the one who said uh, I should do it. Um, the, as soon as you get started doing it, it becomes its own project. Yeah. So it's occasionally it was like I was setting up a shot, and I was like, oh, it's a bit similar and what I did the first time around. Yeah. But in general, it was trying to breathe life into a new process. And, <laughs> and uh, so for long periods, you just forget about it. You yeah. Know? The characteristics and intentions of villains are some of my favorite things to talk about. And I'm curious, what made you want, in the original, he's vegan. Mm -hmm. And in this one, he's very into healthy diets. What made you want to do that? It was a little bit of an update. And, <laughs> uh, and uh, Frank uh, Baldwin, the, the writer who, uh, who suggested that, you know, vegan was a bit of an easy mark uh, <laughs> nowadays. You know, yeah. to move on to grass-fed beef or whatever. It was. Yeah. One of my favorite things is the setting, because I come from Salt Lake City, and now you've terrified me of my own backyard. <laughs> what, what, what excites you about that kind of isolation setting? Well, I mean, I'm growing up in Norway, and, <laughs> and I'm familiar with the snow. Uh, I think it's the, the grandness and the beauty yeah. of... of, of, uh, of uh, the rock, it was a fantastic to be able to shoot in the Rockies. I mean, yeah. for me, it was, uh, and and also that in that harsh uh, climate, there are some genuine reasons to love being there. Yeah. And, and portraying that for somebody who has never been there was kind of an ambition, you know. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you.